Hello, my name is Jan, and this is my first Houdini asset. It's a utility that you can use to export the geometry to Redshift Proxy and load it back in really easily. I created a test scene, so let's see how it looks. I made a sphere with a mountain deformer uh, that's animated. I converted it to VDB just to make it look smoother and then cache it to disk. Also added a material, so let's see how it looks in Redshift right now. If I open the render view, you can see in a minute that it will look like this. Okay, so now what I want to do is to export the sphere as a proxy and load it back into Houdini. So I just have to write RS proxy and you can see the first asset is, is Y RS proxy. And I just plug it in, activate the display view. And of course, in the right area, you can see some very common Redshift uh, proxy properties. I can export this as a static object or as a sequence. Now I want to go for sequence option. As you can see, it already uh, sets the start and end frame. And I just need to specify a name. I'll create a subfolder and just uh, name it sphere and the frame number. Now all I have to do is render to disk. Of course, I could enable motion blur with all the properties, but it's not the case now. So I let Houdini render it to disk. Okay, the file saving is complete. So now nothing really happens because I didn't activate the use proxy file option. So uh, in the background, uh, Houdini saved um, the Redshift proxies in this location. And right now, if I enable the use proxy file, you can see in the viewport that we are using the proxy. If I fire the render view again, we should have the exact, exact same result. And you can see it's the exact same thing. Of course, what I can do is override the material and you can see I have another material here. I can just apply it and refresh the Redshift viewport. And now, as you can see, I overwritten the uh, material in the proxy. If I don't want to use the proxy file, I just need to take this box and maybe reload the viewport again. So now we see the original geometry. Okay, so right now we are using the proxy file. Another nice thing that I really like to do is um, in the object viewport to create a null with a rig for the entire scene. So right here I could have a lot of properties and I can also add um, the Redshift Proxy Enable button. So I just go to Edit Parameters Interface, add a toggle right here and call it Enable Proxy. I can just call it the same here. Hit Apply and Accept. And now I just copy the parameter, go into the sphere again and paste relative reference here. So now, uh, when I select this rig, I can enable and disable proxy for the whole scene. Of course, another thing that I can do is uh, display the object as a mesh. So now we see the proxy in the viewport exactly as it was before being saved, or I can change the resolution. Maybe I want to display it as points. So these are just common um, Redshift properties. Okay, so... Um, if I want, for example, now if I have another uh, sphere, let's just copy and paste this one. And I just want to move it a bit. You can see with this rig, I can enable and disable the proxy across the entire scene. So this can be really helpful before sending the scene to render. I can enable proxy for, for each uh, part that I need to. And then everything will go really smoothly in the render. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, small asset and uh, see you on the next one. Have a nice day. Bye.